Wallace's most successful victory came a few months later, however, at Stirling Bridge, when he joined forces with Andrew Murray, also known as Andrew du Maurier, who had led campaigns in the north against English forces. Before the battle even began, Wallace and Murray demonstrated their strategic prowess by placing their army on a hill called the Abbey Craig, north of the River Forth, where Wallace Monument stands today. This left the approaching English army only one point at which to cross the river, Stirling Bridge, which was so narrow that only two horsemen could cross side by side. On the 11th of September 1297, the English army began to slowly cross the bridge. After around half the army had crossed, Wallace and Murray deployed their forces, which decimated the English army on the north side of the river, whilst the rest of the English army stood helplessly watching from the other side of the river. Some accounts suggest that part of the bridge even collapsed at some point during the battle from the weight of the army, forcing many English soldiers to drown in the river in an attempt to escape the onslaught. It was a decisive victory for the Scots, although not without its costs. Murray was severely wounded in the battle and died a few months later. Wallace was recognised for his achievements, however, and was appointed Guardian of Scotland shortly after the battle.